My name is Maher. I work as an outside operator for Saudi Aramco. It is a very interesting job to do. There is a lot of training, a lot to learn, and a lot of mentorship. All this support has helped me to learn and to do my task and their procedures safely. When I'm not working, I enjoy going to the gym regularly. I think that keeping fit for the kind of work I do is very important. Being fit also helped me enjoy my life with my friends and family too. My name is Munir and I am an apprentice with Saudi Aramco. I like to play football, especially in my uh, free time or spare time. Also, I like to swim in swimming pool or in sea. I have no difference. And as we say in Arabic expression, the good mind in the good body. There are several things I wanted to know about what a typical day in the life of an outside operator is like. So, I have some questions. The best way to get some answers is to talk to the person who does the job for real. Generally, what's the main job for outside operator? Oh, the outside operators, they are, uh, you know, the hearts of the plant. Okay, they follow the job task standard that they are uh, to do their task on a daily basis. What the first task do you do every day? The most important thing that you do is to receive the turnover. You have your time. Listen carefully to uh, what my supervisor will give me as uh, instructions. Yes, that to follow. In addition, there is some tasks not being accomplished from the previous shift. So as a teamwork, we have to accomplish what they did and see if uh, there's any other activity to do. Okay, so this is the main goal of the, uh, the first thing that the operator must do. What the other task do you do? The outside operators uh, do uh, several tasks. Let me give you an example from one of them, which is preparing the sample. The outside operator prepared the sample for the lab technician to take it, uh, and we have several samples to be taken. Sample for the liquid, sample for the gases, and the sample uh, okay, for some solids material. For each sample, we are following uh, certain procedures Okay, to take these samples. In addition, the outside operator must inform his supervisor for any finding, any problem that, that he find. Control to outside operator. Over. Operator to control. Go ahead. Over. Compare me to his reading in the plan 470. K001 area. Over. Roger that. Over and out. Everything in the plant are connected together. There is valves, pipes, the process, in addition to the people itself, also the operators, they are, they are all connected together. So uh, the operator must, he must have uh, technical skills, he must have uh, an excellent way of communication to ensure that the production is safe and smooth. H2S reading at uh, K001 is uh, 001 ppm, over. What the other task do you do? From the daily task that the operator must do, monitor the plant equipment. By having the reading sheet and to report any failure on the equipment. Uh, like an example, if you found uh, the pump that's not functioning well, which is one of the most important tasks of the operator, you, uh, you have to report it to, to your shift, shift supervisor so he can guide you to the corrective action, whether you stop this pump, st uh, start a standby one, 
and yeah, and take the required thing to contact the maintenance so they can fix this problem. has unusual noise. Over. Any leaks? Over. Negative. Over. Switch the bomb to standby. Over. Roger that. Over and out. To be honest, when uh, when I came to the plant for the first time, I really was amazed. It's a huge equipment, how to deal with it, and it was all, always I'm asking myself what I have to do, how I can do this one. Currently, I can operate uh, all the equipment in my unit. Uh, honestly, I'm now very excited here in uh, my plant and uh, my work. I'm always be ready for any additional job. I'm always looking forward to improve myself in my field, which is, to be honest, I feel proud about this one because this will affect my country. As an apprentice, what else do I need to know? You just seen the four common tasks for the outside operators. Accept shift turnover, prepare sample, monitor the equipment, then follow the safety isolation uh, procedure for the failure equipment. These are the four uh, common examples from the full JTS. The last thing that I do uh, the last of my day is to write down and make as a turnover all the things that I do to handle it to the next shift. Please ensure that you are well prepared for the plant visit. Ensure that your personal protective equipment are ready. Ensure that you have uh, the questionnaires with you already. And also ensure that your uh, equipment list is being prepared with you.